This is Timascus Heat Coloring Basics. So we're going to start with a pretty polished piece of Timascus and a pitcher of water to quench it in and some MEK or MEK substitute if you can't find the MEK and a propane torch. So to start you need the Timascus free of any kind of residue or oils from machining or fingerprints. Just wipe it down. Try to get all the lint off or wipe it with a lint free towel. Give it a moment to evaporate a little bit. And then start heating the whole piece gradually, making sure you cover the area. Because I'm just coloring part of the bar, I'm not going to focus on the bottom half where the clamp is. If you're doing knife scales or bolster, you can set it on a fire brick and then heat the whole thing evenly. You can also heat it in an even heat oven. You just have to play with the temperatures to get the colors that you want. So right now I'm just trying to get a nice even heat over the whole piece until the colors start to show up. It goes slow at first, but once the colors start appearing, it goes pretty quickly. There's not a whole lot of temperature difference between the different colors. I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to just now begin to bronze a little bit. So it'll go to like a pale straw color and then to a bronze, then to a purple, and then blue, light blue. And if you keep going, you'll get to the pinks and greens. Right now I'm starting to get the gold purple look. Any part that's not the color I want, if it's still a little on the cold side, I'll just make sure I very carefully spot heat it, trying to get everything to the same general color shade. Again, if you do it in an even heat, it'll be really even colors. You just have to experiment around a little bit to get the ones you want. Or you could also electrically anodize the heat and then that will be pretty instant and there will be no color variation. So I don't know if you can see a little bit of the color there. That seems to be a good spot to show it. See it's goldish blue right now. Try to walk the color down a little farther on the piece. Just be being careful not to overheat any one spot. Uh, one thing to be aware of, while the flame is on the piece, it won't actually change color. You have to move the flame off the piece or keep it away and then the oxygen will uh, form the oxide on the Timascus or the titanium once the flames away. Which is why I'm constantly moving the torch, trying to get a nice, even heat on the piece. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's not too difficult. You can see kind of the whole piece there. If you look at the bottom, there's a little bit of a gradient where it's starting to straw and then go to the purples and then into the blues. So, so I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the coloring on this. I'm going to quench it in my bucket of water. And that'll just stop the colors from changing. 
didn't quite have enough water to get the back side, so I'll make sure I cool that off. There we go. And then after this, you're going to want to clean it up a little bit. I usually clean it off with some uh, Windex, and that works really well for getting a nice clean finish on it. Alright, thank you for watching.